Hello, Paul Hamilton here. We're gonna explore some of the uh, cool new features um, that we can do with shapes in Keynote and pages and um, a range of different things. You can see here I've created an oldie, but a, but a goodie, an old funny here, an old anatomy joke. Um, and I just wanna show you how I actually do it because we can actually pull apart shapes. So if I actually copy, let's just copy that slide and paste just so we've got a copy of what we're doing there. And what we can actually do is we can actually bring in, let's bring in the skeleton. I'll just move that out of the way for a second. And you can see here that I can't actually access the different parts of it. But if I go up to the paintbrush here and go to arrange, I can actually break that apart. So now I've got access to all the different parts um, of the skeleton. Now this could come in handy. I don't want to write a note there. This could come in handy when we're doing things like animations. Um, we could be doing some studies on different things there um, that we can actually grab and move apart. You can see there that I've got different things. We've got all the different hands. I've pulled these apart here. And you can actually see here what I've done with the hand is I've actually highlighted by touching one of the objects or parts of the objects and multiple selecting the other parts. And then what I've done there is I've grouped them so I can ungroup them or I can actually group them and that way that I can actually change the different aspects of it. So this is just a great way of doing animations. For example, you could kind of move in with your magic move and do some animations there. You could pull apart different objects and actually analyze them, change the color. So you could actually have, um, for example, different colors that you could actually play around with and you could make that part of the body green to actually highlight it and do some kind of different an analysis of the different body parts. And don't forget, you can do that with any object or most objects, sorry, in Keynote. Hope you found that useful. Paul Hamilton here, signing off.